So it may seem obvious who's going to handle these notes bordering human hearing better, but how significantly? This is Kevin from Said Too Much. So what's the final verdict? Was it that big a difference? Can you think of any other cool tone ideas? Let me know in the comments. The Bryce bass can be active or passive, but for the sake of comparison, I had it on active to match the active Ibanez. And both of their three band EQ knobs were kept at middle position. Keep in mind that with such a subtle low end sound, these notes may be better utilized in a supporting role, at least for maybe that C sharp. You may want to check out some of my other contrabass videos, including a full review for this 37 inch scale length Bryce bass, if you haven't already. A few of you suggested that during the scale demo for the Bryce bass review, it was out of tune. Apparently it went a little sharp on me during the recording, but come on guys, not a whole semitone. You all also let me know that even if you practice extreme stretches to fit a super long scale length, you might actually be harming your hands. So I want to stress that you seek out more comfortable techniques, as I will too, if we want to mess around with these super long scale instruments. The whole idea of how different gauges at the same tension affect tone reminds me of a similar experiment I tried on a regular and baritone Squire Stratocaster. You might want to go ahead and check that video out as well. Of course, be sure to subscribe for more experimentation and feel free to check out my Patreon for DIs and samples from these instruments. Some are free. Maybe we can help fund some crazy new future projects. We can always go longer, maybe even lower. For now though, enough said. <laughs>